this is the Abbey Vogue caravan. Um, it's the Abbey Vogue GTS 416 four berth caravan. Um, reasonable condition, made in 1997. Um, I also have the CRIS registration document for this van. That proves that I'm the legal owner um, and the van's not s stolen or anything or being subject to an insurance loss uh, and things like that. Uh, we'll take a look around it. All the accessories will be coming with this van. So there will be the fresh water container, the aqua roll with handle and whale water pump. Um, the leg winder for the corner steadies, spare wheel, gas bottle with regulator, caravan step, and the cover for the airframe, and also the wastewater uh, container with, with wastewater pipes, and the hookup lead. So them are all the accessories that you need, there'll be nothing to buy, that's all you need to just hook up and go away. Um, we'll have a look around the caravan. So I've got the keys and under this front cover we'll have a look. Now in here, this is where the gas bottle is. So you've got the gas bottle and regulator, <coughs> excuse me, spare wheel. And there's also room there for another gas bottle. And what I normally do, just around that corner there, inside there, I store the hookup lead in there, um, the leg winder, um, and the whale pump. The front's all pretty good. It could do with a polish, good this front, but it's average for the type of caravan this, this of this age. It has the Alco hitch lock, the anti sway hitch lock. These are good for towing. This caravan tows very, very well. Um, so you've got the Elko hitch lock. It's also got a new snatch chain on it. Um, the hookup leads for the for your car. This is the grey one for charging the leisure battery on the move. The black one, obviously, for the caravan external lights. It has, um, you can see this here. This is for levelling the caravan. Um, and also, this caravan was serviced this year. Uh, it was serviced on the 14th of April 2018, about four weeks ago. There's one or two little dings in this caravan. It's all good down this side. There's the aqua roll with the whale pump, um, caravan leg winder and the, the handle for the aqua roll water butt. I'll go down this side. With it having been serviced, you can rest assured that the brakes are okay and that the tyres are fine and the handbrake works. I'll show you the tyre. And it's on the Alco chassis, which makes the caravan a little bit lighter. It's the under there. This caravan is um, from, the, from the front peak there to the back is 20 feet and from the front of the towing frame all the way to the back is 23 and a half feet. It's 7 feet wide and on the roof is the aerial so with from the height of the aerial to the floor is 9 feet. It grosses out at 1,300 kilograms, 1,300 kilograms. Um, that's its maximum permissible weight. And its unladen weight is um, its unladen weight is 1,067 kilograms. So unladen 1,076, laden 1,300. That gives you a payload of 233 kilograms. Take a look down this side. In here you have uh, you have the leisure battery and the connector for the 200 240 volt 
hookup power supply battery in there and there's your 240 hookup and this hookup lead um, is approximately 35 feet long which is about 11 meters in this compartment you have the Thetford cassettes for the toilets now all the locks lock and unlock as they should here you have the cassette this is where the waste goes and this is where you fill the flush which is electric so this one you'll screw the cap off fill it with water and put your pink fluid in the top and to empty the cassette you push this flap down pull the cassette all the way out now this comes out all the way down to the floor so you can carry it to a drain you empty it through here, screw the cap off, tip it out, put a bit of water in give it a swirl around, tip it out again put a couple of litres of water in the bottom with your blue fluid for the toilet flush to break down matter tip it back in all good it's pretty good across the back this has the end bathroom um, it has a fantastic bathroom and shower in it which I'll show you when we do inside um, there's a little mark here nothing to write all about, all the rear lights work good across the back this is the window for the toilet and bathroom the sink and this is the window for the shower and as I say we'll have a look at that after there's the waste master with its two pipes and all they do is just fit into a little couple of couplings at the bottom there one or two dings down this side which I'm going to point out here um, because you need to know the condition of this caravan the outside light works and it's a stable door so the top part can be opened and the bottom part shut, shut should you wish so down this side there's a little ding in this door one there and another one here, two here one there and one here this is the weight plate that I was just explaining about have a look at that, you can work it out for yourself there's another little mark um, here and above it and these these are just damage caused by awning poles and one thing and another and a little one up here and there's a little bit down the front which I'll show you um, the way to date a caravan if you count 10 digits in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 that is a T and T donates 1997 but as I say I do have the CRIS document in my name um, and, it, and it shows when it was manufactured um, there's a slight little ding up here a small one there one up the top of there which I can't reach because I'm a, a short fella <laughs> and just one or two here and a little one down here but you need to know, you need to know what this caravan condition is like and all the leg corner steadies have the little plate on the bottom so your legs don't sink if you're on very very soft ground I'll show you this tyre on the course you've got the caravan step there Oops. so all in all it's in very reasonable condition for its age um, TV are on the roof and the vent for the fire <clears throat> so what I'll do next I'll put the awning up it's got, it's got a porch awning that's coming with it I'll show you the awning um, and then we'll have a look inside now this is the tent awning it's a, a Coniston N&R awning very good condition and what you can do with this awning you can uh, you can remove you can unzip this complete front door here that'll come out so you can have it open at the front like a gazebo also this door here zips from the bottom upwards and then you can flap that in or out so you've got a door there 
you can use the front as a door or take it off and use it as a gazebo and it's the same down this end you can unzip this door as well zip it from here upwards to the top and then that flaps in and flaps out so you have a door in either end with a big door on the front that you can either leave in and use as a door or unzip for more air and the dimensions of this of this uh, awning are it's five feet across the bottom and to the top of this peak in the, in the front doorway it is six foot and across the front across the front it is seven foot so it's not a big awning um, but it's an awning nonetheless it's a handy size to put up um, I can put this up on my own but my wife helped me this morning and it took us about 15 minutes uh, let's have a quick look inside roof's all good and it's slot together poles so if you do buy this caravan save this video and you can see how to put it all together so your down pole clips in there which is down pole same at both sides at the back um, and then you've got the one that comes down the side the, these are extending poles so you, you, you release it with that to push it in or pull it out Same again there. And the one across the front is an extending pole as well. Same thing. Release that to push it in or out. Slot together in the ends and then that goes outside into a little uh, pouch. As does the one at the other side. There's no ground sheet, but I used uh, what I used to use was a thick roll of black visqueen and that, that's adequate and also I can't find the, um, the, the, the the pegs to peg the outside down um, but they, they're, just, they're just basic uh, tent pegs oh there you go that's the awning so what we'll do next we'll have a look inside um, and I'll show you what the inside's all about forgot to mention before we do actually go inside um, the the awning and the poles have their own bag so everything's going to be bagged up this is the bag for the awning and this is the bag for the poles so there we go one awning and now we'll take a look inside so as I said earlier um, this is a, a stable door so you can have the top section open like that and there's a light above the door 12 volt light that's great for in the awning and also you've got this fly net a full length fly net across the door Pulls, back, uh, pulls itself back into there and as you come into the van um, at the, at, through this door here this leads you into the uh, bathroom and shower area we'll have a look in there first you come into this area in front of you you've got um, a cupboard above then a wardrobe and a drawer underneath wardrobe Cupboard above, all dry in there. And above the toilet, you've another cupboard. A little hanger at the side here. 
vent hole for the wardrobe and then you've got the back window this has blackout blind on it like this little holder for cups and things then you come to the fit to the toilet lid up seat up um, and it's the electric flush and in the bottom here you have a little gate so you turn this which which opens this gate in the bottom so you open it first do whatever you're doing then push this down and keep it as well and this side is for toilet roll that's your level indicator when this turns red your cassette that we showed you outside needs emptying hello <laughs> uh, lights above then you've got your usual vent above with a fly net, great mirrors, towel holder, sink, um, hot and cold, that's a cold tap. Hot tap and a plug, then you have some cover space below there with a couple of shelves, a little storage area under there, lovely bathroom, uh, another little drawer here, the shelf and here this blows in hot air from the uh, blown hot air system which I'll explain to you in a bit. So, this, so when this is on um, this bathroom gets lovely and warm, this, this toilet sink area. Then across from there, you've got the shower. Now this is a full size shower. This is the glass door. Shower head, light above. Tap controls, shower base with a plug. Um, fly net, fly net's down. And this has a blackout blind as well. I'll just show you these taps working, then you know that they do. So this is where I get wet through now. Um, cold tap. Hot tap. This water gets lovely and hot. And at the moment I've got it lit on the gas, but it also works on the 240 electric hookup. So that's the shower area. Really, really good bathroom this. size shower. I'll turn this light off, vented above that. So you come out of the bathroom and off to your left you've got the cooker. Cupboards above, big cupboard there, same again, all dry. Cupboard above the sink with uh, plate racks etc, places for cups. Same again, all dry. You have a light above the sink, that's 12 volt. Um, I'll show you these taps working. So we've got the cold tap, hot tap, and plug. That. When you're not using the sink, let's turn that to the side put this, unclip this, put this down and this gives you um, a work surface or somewhere to put things. So next to the fridge we've got the cooker, um, this cooker has a, a, glass, a glass lid and the, the electric igniter works so this is where I'm now going to wish I had another pair of hands. That rings on That ring, this one's the grill, that ring's lit, uh, that one, so all them four rings work, below that you've got the grill, 
the grill pan and I'll show you that this works turn the gas on, press the igniter and that's the grill working and then down to the oven lovely oven now this is where I'm going to put this camera down for a second because I'm going to need two hands for this job so I'll light the oven, you know that, you know that that's working yeah, oven on so you know that the cooker works the sink taps work the grill works and the oven the rings work and under there is a bit of a storage area and this is the cooker so below the sink is the fridge and at the moment I've got this working on the gas um, same again this is an electronic igniter to turn to, to, to turn it on the gas um, and this is the 240 so when that's flicked up that lights up and it's working on the 240 volt electric this is the 12 volt never had it working on that don't even know if it does so inside the fridge fridge door with shelves small freezer box above and if we can look in this window down here ah, that little blue flame in the back that's showing that it's working on the gas that's the fridge and you have to hold this up when you're shutting this door you just need to hold that up and then the, the door will, will, will keep it closed and I'm going to turn that off that's off igniter off then to the right of the fridge is the fire and what I've done with the fire at the minute I've just lifted the cover off because I have this lit and this is lit on the gas and the reason I've took the cover off is because I want to show you down in here if you can see the flame in there that's the fire working on the gas and it just turns off like this and that's, that's off I'll put that cover back on after when we've done a bit more explaining um, so opposite this area this is the dinette um, seating area and this also turns into bunks which I'll put up and show you that shortly above the, the dinette is another row of cupboards three cupboards all dry in there cupboard with a shelf loads and loads of storage space I want you to see everything because you need to know the condition of this van which is good um, I say this uh, this area turns into bunks and also here this big curtain um, pulls around on this rail to make this area private from the rest of the van but I'll set all that up after and show you um, also here behind this behind this door is the control panel and a storage area for the table that's the light switch for in the bathroom so in here this is your control panel now at the moment we've got this working on the gas so to, to, so to work it on the gas gas turned on obviously at the bottle and just flick this switch down and that'll give you hot water on the gas the switch to the side is the pump for the water so you remember the whale pump we had outside and the container when it's up it's off when it's down it's on when you turn a tap on um, it, it pumps the water down here is um, the leisure battery charger now there's plenty of charge in that battery at the minute but if this is getting low and you're on the 240 hookup which this van is at the minute you just flick that on and it starts to recharge the battery this control at the side is a rocker switch now this is flicked down onto the van position at the minute so what's happening here is um, I've just flicked that into the off position so when you're towing you click it to the top where it says car and that charges through the grey lead you remember I showed you at the front of the caravan earlier outside and when you're inside the van flick that down to van and this operates the 12 volt system for the lights etc below that a little bank of fuses um, for 12 volt 
and then this is your main fuse box for your 240 volt. And in here, it's like I say, it's the table, um, which I'll take out after and show you. And also, this is for the bunks, so nobody falls out the top bunk. So this is it. So that's the back area done with. You come into the front. Um, before that, sorry, above the fire, the drawer here. Shelf for putting your table, uh, your TV on if you want a TV. And here we have um, 12 volt plug socket for a 12 volt TV and aerial socket, which which runs to the aerial on the caravan roof. And it also has a booster signal box fitted in this van, as most vans have. Now the hot air blown system that I showed you that vent in the bathroom operates from this system and it also blows hot air through that vent and that vent um, and the hot air blown system is fantastic you don't have to use the gas fire if you don't want to because that is adequate and to operate this on and off switch um, for example if you're running it on the 240 volt hookup which I do what you have here is, is a control panel for it. This is a thermostat, colder, warmer, hotter. You switch it on here and this top green light will come on. Like this and it flashes. And I want it on the electric slow fan. One, two, three, four. I'll take that in four times. That's now on the electric slow fan. And what it does, it turns a pump on behind the fire and, a, and, a, and an electrical element which then blows air through the vents that I just showed you previously and to turn this system off you just press the off switch to the side of that this is the fan, fan heater master this is for the 240 same principle side of that is a, a 240 plug socket all the plug sockets in this van work this brings us to the front seating area all this upholstery is in very good condition so in effect what you could do, you could sleep on that one, or you could sleep on that one, you've got your bunks at the back, or you can make this up into a massive double bed, which I'm going to do, I'm going to set this up and show you how what it looks like. These drawers come out to make the bed space even bigger down that bottom end, I'll take this out and I'll put it over here on the sink, um, above the seats, mark up a space cupboard space everywhere we didn't look in here did we this is the above the fire this is a rack for uh, wine bottles and cup holders glass cup holders cupboards to the side two more cupboards here with a shelf same again all dry and this box here is for the um, power booster for the aerial I'll just I just leave this switched on um, and this boosts the signal to you, from the aerial to your TV cup it at the side same again all dry shelf across the front ab above the front window shelf across clock but I can't get it to work never have uh, and then above this seating area on this side is more cupboard space, same again, two more cupboards. And one with the shelf again. Right, so what I'll do now, um, these light, this light here and this light here run off the 240 electric hookup and these others are 12 volt or 240 um, vent above with a blackout blind same with this one that one has a blackout blind on it as well this window at the minute I've got all the fly nets down on all windows um, and all these windows have blackout blinds I'll just give you an example of one if I can find it so these are your blackout blinds all the windows have blackout blinds on them and of course we've got curtains they all work. This front window stay. All the window stairs in this van, th these these window stairs here, this one is actually broke at the top, but it's the only one in the van that is, and they are replaceable. Um, but this window stay is perfectly fine and it stays open and locks in place, no problem. 
but you just need to know so if you're broken broken window stay sorry that's the broken window stay over there um but like i say it, it holds itself up on one and it's not a problem so you've got all the blackout blinds work all the fly nets work and you've got you've also got the curtains that's the shot up the van that's the dinette at the side i'm going to make that into a into a bunk bed shortly and i'm also now going to um, make up the double bed in the front so you can see what that's all about uh, before we do the beds i forgot something else these drawers at the front on top of this drawer you pull this handle the top extends out and then it falls back and it makes you a nice big table and underneath two drawers and an access point into there and also there's a 240 volt plug there that works um, there's a drawer handle here this pulls out uh, and it's like a, a big rack cup, uh, what, uh, drawer plenty of storage space underneath to show you all that So again at this side under here these cushions that you can see there are for the uh, bunks which I'm going to set up in a minute um, also this opens up for access and down here um, there's another light down here a little light flick that on that's great at night if you don't want too much lighting on um, and this control here remember I said that I've got the hot water running on the gas um, but to have it running on the 240 electric volt hookup you just simply turn it on there lovely lovely hot water all works all works well on under here there's also a couple of spotlights one there and one over here there we go so you've got your 12 you've got a light there a light here one above the sink You've got the two spotlights, you've got your light above here and your 240 lights across the front. So there's plenty of lights in this van, uh, nice and bright, nice and airy, fantastic family van. Um, like I say, it's a four berth, bunks and a big double bed at the front, but that bed is big enough for three, quite easy, four stroke, five berth, but it's officially a four berth. Right, now I will get round to uh, doing the beds. So this, this is the bunk made up, you've got a top, top bunk, uh, these cushions on this top bunk were st are stored under here, so you've got your top bunk and a board to stop people falling out, and you've got your bottom bunk, and like I say you've got this curtain which I'm going to pull around, um, that makes this area private, the rest of the caravan, and it ends up looking like this. I'll put the I'll sort the front bed out next and you can have a look at that. So there's the double bed made up. Nice big bed, like I say, really really good for two, but you can fit three on there if you wanted to. Um the the where the drawers were at the front, at the lower edge, there's a pull out wood which pulls across uh with and it makes lats underneath so that's how you do the center of the bed um, and the cupboard that I moved I've just popped it up here above the fridge on the sink so there's your double at the front and here's your two bunks to the side um, also while I was rooting under here I found a bag of curtains now they'll probably do for that awning that I showed you earlier and also the pegs the pegs for pegging it down are in there as well I'm glad I found them so there you have it uh, it's got a good floor in it it's not uh, saggy springy or anything it doesn't, it doesn't leak water in and uh, it's nice and dry in this caravan and not damp so that's the caravan so remember 
Um, I have the CRAS document for this van in my name, which is the equivalent of a logbook for a caravan like you would have for a car. That shows that it's that I own it, uh, that the caravan's not stolen, um, that it's not been subject to an insurance loss, etc, etc. Um, it's coming with all the accessories, so you have the fresh water container barrel, the, the aqua roll with the handle and the whale pump, the whale water pump. There's also the um, uh, the wastewater uh, with with pipes, there's three pipes for it, I only filled it with two but there's three, there's three outlets. You've got the leg winder for the corner steadies, you've got the spare wheel, you've got the gas bottle with regulator with some gas in the bottle, you've got the caravan step, um, you've got the awning, you've got the cover for the, for the airframe at the front, so everything's there, everything that you need. Um, to just hook up this caravan and go like we did. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention, we got a smoke alarm up there. Um, I think there's a fire, a smoke alarm up there. Yeah. Um, that's about it. I think that's all I can say. So there you go. That's the caravan.